Praise God, my friend. It is indeed a blessed Friday morning, and we are truly grateful and thankful for the breath of life that is going back and forth through our nostrils. Today we are giving God the glory and the honor and the praise for his continued faithfulness. Our scripture coming to you today from St. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 32. Praise God. And it reads thus, Whoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Praise God. So my friend, what this means is that you must confess to the world the name of the Lord Jesus and the goodness of God, which means to preach the gospel, be instant in season and out of season. So he said when you confess him before men, he will confess you before his father who is in heaven. That is why the scripture said that we must study to show ourselves approved unto him. A workman that need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Praise God. So when you confess the name of Christ, telling people about the goodness of God, encouraging people to turn from their wicked ways, and turn to God, surrendering at the foot of the cross, and encouraging people to turn from sin to grace and give God a chance in their life. When you decree and declare, thus said the Lord, God, my friend, will remember the good things that you have done, and you shall hear, Well done, my good and faithful servant. So that is why he is saying, my friend, that whoever therefore shall confess me, praise God, before men. And praise God, him will I confess before my Father, which is in heaven. Praise God. So my friend, don't sit and, and behave as if you don't know what good things God has done for you. Tell others about it. Testify about his goodness. Praise God. Share his word to bless others. Praise God. And let the name of the Lord be exalted. Spread it to the four corners of the earth so that and the earth can be populated with the message of hope, the message of righteousness, the good news, the gospel, for it must be preached to the four corners of the earth before God put in his appearance. Therefore, confess with your mouth and deny not, but tell people that God is great and greatly to be praised from the rising of the sun even to the going down of the same. Tell people that God has saved you, delivered you from mess and corruption and sin and set you free from darkness and the pit of hell. Praise God. Tell people, amen, how God God have set you free from the attacks of the enemy and saved you many times from near-death experiences that the devil wanted to take your very life. Tell people how God has been good to you, been your provider, and have blessed your life in significant ways. Tell others, confess the name of the Lord before men so that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ will confess you before his Father so that your name will not be blessed blotted out of the book of life. Dear God and our Father, we lift up and exalt your name this another day. Praise God. Thanking you, God Almighty, for your faithfulness, your goodness. Praise God, your loving kindness. And cover us under your blood today. Keep this person as the apple of the eye. Help this person, God, not to be ashamed of the gospel, but to decree and declare, thus said the Lord, and to confess your name, Father, before even God Almighty, their enemies telling them that no matter what, how you treat me bad, I will not treat you bad because God has been good to me. Praise God. And thank you, Lord, that you are going to work upon the good desires of this person's heart and you are going to transform this person by the renewing of their mind so that they can stand still and see the salvation of the Lord and they can stand still and declare and declare 
hear thus set the Lord. I pray God for a special touch uh, upon this person's life on a blessing, a breakthrough, healing, deliverance, uh, and whatsoever the need for prayer. Even this morning, God, we pray that you will intervene in their lives in a significant way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Share to bless others. Praise God. And tomorrow we will look at another day's devotion. You have a blessed Friday as you continue to call upon the name of the Lord. For his name alone, my friend, is worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, be blessed.